In this video, I'm gonna show you how I do a fish party dip. Fantastic, absolutely delicious. You can do this with a variety of different fish, such as yellowfin tuna. You can use uh, mahi-mahi. I'm using redfish or red drum that's very native to our coastal area here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And what I really love to use and what I wanted to use but I couldn't find is Popeye mullet. They are the best for this. If you ever tried it, you wouldn't forget it. Mullet is not just for bait. I guarantee you that. I'm gonna start off with a red fish. This is a red drum. So I've already butterflied this. And the way I do it is I take my knife down the dorsal fin. I go in this way and work it down towards the belly, I leave the belly intact, which is about opposite from the way you would normally fillet, but I like keeping them intact. I did remove the backbone. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. There are still some bones in here, as you can see. Now I have taken 40% just plain old yellow mustard, and I've taken 60% Tabasco hot sauce. Louisiana hot sauce works good on this too, and I have combined the two. Now this is not only for a binder on fish, this is also for flavor, man. Let me tell you, hot sauce and mustard makes it on this smoked mullet, or I'm sorry, smoked redfish. Now on top of this, I wanna apply some black pepper. This also has white peppercorns and Szechuan peppercorns all in one grinder. Last but not least, we're going on with just good old Old Bay. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish seasoning this. And by the way, the scales are still on this. It's what I like to call redfish on a half shell because you're not gonna be eating the skin. All this meat will just pull right away from the outer part. So let me finish this. We'll go outside and I'll show you the smoker that I'm using on this redfish. I have been wanting and needing a dedicated fish smoker or something I can do any kind of seafood smoked fish, smoked oysters, or whatever, whatever the case may be. And I found this little smoker, it's made by Smokin' Tex, as you can see here. And this company is out of Texas, and they have actually been in business for over 20 years. This is all insulated. I had to burn it in yesterday for four hours, and this never got hot. It got warm to the touch, warm up here, so it's very well insulated. It's a little electric smoker, and you can see the seasoning on the door. Now, it has a smoke box, and it recommends covering this with aluminum foil, put foil in the bottom. That's just to help keep everything clean. And what you do with this is you lift it up, and you put your wood in it. I've got this one chunk of wood. This is buttonwood from the buttonwood tree. This is actually sent to me by Loderman Jack down there in Florida because that's where that wood grows. It grows in Florida and it also grows in the Caribbeans. I think even Hawaii maybe. And I wanna thank Loderman Jack. And by the way, he does have a YouTube channel. I'll post a link in the description. Please go over there and check him out. Tell him I sent you. He's got a uh, smoked mullet video I know on his channel and a lot of other cooks. Now with this, I also got the frog mats. So I'll probably be using them on smoked oysters soon. If I do smoked oysters, who would like to see a smoked oysters video? Leave it in the comments. These right here, I've got three of these. That's the fine mesh. You could also use that for oysters or anything that would fall through or use them in combination with each other. And this unit came with four of the standard racks. Now these all got seasoned yesterday. So we're gonna go ahead and get it fired up. There's not much to tell you on this other than the, the range. The range is from off all the way up to 250. You can dial this in at 100, 125, 150, 175, 200, 225, and 250. I'll probably be cooking around the 180 mark. So I don't wanna turn that on yet. And according to the directions, you always make sure you always make sure you have that in. Don't ever run this without that firebox with the lid closed. So the direction says there's no reason to preheat this. Let's see if I can transfer this without making a big old mess here. 
in we go. I like the latch set up on this too. You just push in, close her down. Just dial this up to about 180, about right here. We're gonna let this come up to heat. And then from there, it's probably gonna take around three, maybe to four hours. If you're wanting to get into sausage making or curing your own bacon, just to mention a few, then check out this little smoker. I'll have a link in the description box. This thing will go from 100 degrees to 250. That's got all your ranges covered if you're wanting to stage out your sausage making like I do. And uh, I wanted it for a seafood smoker, only seafood. And that's the only thing I'll ever go in it, I think. I might play around with something else. But check it out, I have a link in the description box if you're needing a smoker like this. And you can just do straight up barbecue as well. It doesn't have to be sausage or bacon or seafood. It can be anything you want. All right, we've been going about two and a half, almost three hours. I just wanna take a look at these, see how they're looking, and see if we need to go longer or if we're getting close. Take our door, open it up, let the smoke out. About 155. Technically they're done, but I like smoked fish to have a drier feel to them, a drier texture. Just the way I prefer it. Not like a beef jerky, but not super moist either. I like it somewhere in between. Instant read thermometers, man, you gotta love them. I use instant read thermometers on just about everything I do. It just lets me know what's going on and it happens very fast. This is a one second thermometer. I reach in there, I hit it, I know instantly where my meat's at, what the temperature is and what's really going on with it. If you're looking for a good instant read thermometer that can do everything that the more expensive brands can do, then check out the link in the description box. It'll have a link to my page showing you my favorite Thermapro thermometers. So if you're looking, just check out the link and save yourself some money. Oh boy, look at there, we are done. Went right about four hours and uh, it's a little bit thicker than most mullet would be, but a little bit of stickage here, not bad. Let's flip it around. That's what happens when you do these, they kind of stiffen up, but there's still moisture in there just about the way I like. So what I want to do is just scrape some of this off and we're going to check it real good for bones. And then we're just going to put all this into this bowl right here. Then we're going to go from there. Got it all busted up. And if you wanted a lot of this for like a party or whatever, just get you a couple of these big red fish. I say big, it wasn't that big. It was legal size. I think it weighed in at like three and a half, maybe closer to four pounds. But we just want to go in with some softened cream cheese. I've got two of these going in. And the second one. I've got one half of a red bell pepper. I took one jalapeno and I cut that into four pieces. That's just one jalapeno been deveined and seeded. Got about three tablespoons of parsley going in. And I've got some scallions, some green onions. So I used about two thirds of a bunch of the green onions. I took one stalk of celery. There's the tops to that and the rest of it. Just rough cut. Now let's go in with all this. Now I want to go in with some capers, probably around a tablespoon and a half. Just some guesstimate at that. Looks pretty good right there. And about two tablespoons of mayonnaise. I want to take some more Old Bay and just season this up a little bit. None of these vegetables has seen any seasoning. Probably somewhere around a teaspoon to do it. One thing about it, you can always add more. So let's go ahead and mix all this up. I'll bring you right back once we get all this looking the way it's supposed to look. 
Now what I'll put the juice to a half a lemon. All righty. Been waiting about four and a half hours for this. Oh, that's so good. Hey, if you need a good idea for your Super Bowl party coming up, there you go. You do this, and I guarantee you it's going to be the hit of the party right there. I hope you give it a try. I'm Russ Jones with Smokey Riz Barbecue.